facing some especially serious challenges in the coming decades with respect to climate change. People, many of whom 10, 15, 20 years ago never would have taken geoengineering seriously are now starting to talk about large-scale manipulation of the Earth's climate to combat global climate change. Now, there are basically two main strategies for geoengineering. Uh, one is called carbon dioxide removal, CDR. The other is SRM, or solar radiation management. There are definitely significant concerns with both kinds of geoengineering, but I think a lot of the attention from moral philosophers has focused on solar radiation management. Solar radiation management works by reflecting larger quantities of solar radiation back into space. And in doing so, it aims to compensate for the effects of increasing greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. But in itself, solar radiation management doesn't change the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So I think there are kind of two reasons why moral philosophers have focused on uh, SRM, or solar radiation management. One is that it seems to be the approach to geoengineering that's closest on the horizon. And then the other reason is that uh, it, it has some particular ethical worries associated with it because it doesn't seem to address the problem of rising greenhouse gas concentrations. If it were effective in some sense, then it might reduce our motivation to actually take strong steps toward mitigation. If we get on you know, or get into a cycle of solar radiation management, that it may be sort of an addictive cycle. You, know, you might say artificially maintaining a, a more moderate climate on Earth. And then if we were to stop solar radiation management suddenly, uh, we could have a pretty massive rebound effect uh, from the increasing or the continued accumulation of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. I think one of the challenges if we do go forward with geoengineering is to try and establish some way of tying any geoengineering scheme to mitigation efforts, like specific mitigation targets, because uh, if those things are uncoupled, I, I do think there's a, there's a pretty significant temptation to avoid the hard work of mitigation, which is going to involve probably radical transformations in our energy systems and um, our, potentially our economic systems as well. Mm -hmm.